and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than five minutes so without wasting time let's get started so today's problem of the day of geeks for geeks is two swaps problem which is marked as easy problem but believe me this is not a easy problem at all it is simply a medium level problem okay all right so it like don't be sad if you were not able to solve it and yeah let's go let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one list of integer type and its name will be arr and it will be containing some elements it will be containing some elements and those elements size can be 10 raised to the power 6 and what it will be containing so arr dot size less than 1 and 1 from 1 so all the elements will be starting from 1 and it will be till arr dot size okay so from 1 so if suppose look so here you also you can see given a permutation of some of the first natural numbers okay so if you will see this 4 3 1 2 it's 4 side array so elements will be 4 3 1 2 like any permutation of this okay so there will not be any repeated repeated numbers and there will not be any number greater than size okay all right so first thing is clear all right moving on now what will be a mismatch what will be a let's say unsorted number not sorted number not sorted array so if suppose look if this 4 3 2 1 it can only be sorted in one way and that is 1 2 3 4 okay it can only be sorted in this manner all right great let's see now what we will do mm, yeah so i will check if arr like index 0 it should be 1 if it is not i will add my mismatch like uh, 1 mismatch plus 1 okay and after that i will say that 1 index at 1 index it should be 2 so it is not there at 3 index it should be 3 at 4 index it should be 4 which is not there so all four numbers are not at its correct position okay so i will check now i will be like checking if we can sort it or not that's a different thing but this one is clear so if you will see if you will do some try if you will do some tries you will find out that if mismatch is zero if an array is already sorted we can easily sort the array like we can return true because it is already sorted after that if sort if mismatch is one it means something like uh, mismatch is one means what mismatch is one means what something like two one three four this is our array can we sort it in exactly two swaps if you have missed this please read this again exactly two swaps we cannot do it in one swap we have to use all the two swaps okay so we cannot do if there is one swap we cannot do because let's suppose two one is there so far after that i will do one two it is sorted but i have to do exactly two swaps and if i will do now any one any more swap in that case it will be again unsorted not sorted so for one i will return no okay for two let's find out and uh, in the same way for three if let's say there are three okay so for two also if there are two numbers which are not sorted we cannot do because same thing one cannot be like one it, it cannot be any case where one is not at its correct position one number always it will be pairwise so here i also give the example two one where two is also not correct position one is also not correct position okay so two one three four all right let me delete all these things then i hope it was clear it will be clear to you and uh, yeah so what i was saying correct is one two three four if three is there three numbers are not at its correct position we can always sort in two swaps we can always swap like sort in two swaps uh, let's say if it will be something like two three one four okay because three numbers will not be at correct position and it can be anything like four five six anything now it can always be sorted in two swaps let's say how for one i will be doing something like one then three then two four five and after that two three will be swapped okay 2 3 will be swapped and it will be sorted so in this way 3 will be already always return true so 0 will always return true 3 will always return true and then there will be a case for 4 so for 4 we have to check we have to check we have to check all the types on the all the swaps and then check but if any let's say 5 are there or 6 are there 5 mismatches are there 6 mismatches are there in that case we will simply return false okay so what we have derived till now for the 4 mismatch if there are 4 mismatches in that case we will check and other than that we will always get some answer by at that point only okay all right so this is clear moving forward now what i will check how i will check that is a good question so let's say one swap i will do uh, for any doing one swap if there is four three two one let's say four three two one so what i will do i will be checking four is not at its correct position okay so i will be checking what i will be checking if one let's say i have to its correct position is what one its correct position is what one so i have to check 
what it is correct where one is present so one is present here i will swap i will simply swap so it will be one three two four okay now again i will go forward i will check for three so three is not at this correct position here it should be two here it should be two so i will again check two okay so oh yeah i got two here so i will again try to swap so two swaps are done correct new array is something like one two three four and I will check, yeah, it is sorted. So we have got our correct answer and it, I will return two. But let's say it is something like four, one, two, three. Now, in that case, we cannot sort it in two swaps. So I will do two swaps and it cannot be sorted. So yeah, this is the whole code and I hope everyone have got the understanding. So you can code it by yourself as well and uh, you can like pause the video and try to code. After that, come back here. So let's me, let me sort it, okay? So first of all, what I will do, I will be having some let's say error dot size because we will be using this again and again and uh, let's say wrong position so wrong position are currently zero and how i will check i will be simply moving from zero to n i will be checking if what look i have already told if arr dot get of i is not equal to i plus one it means it is not at its correct position okay so i will be doing something like wrong pose plus plus okay all right now i will come out of this for loop i will again check look i have already told if n equal to one or or n equal to two or or n is greater than oh sorry not n wrong position wrong position equal to 1 or, or wrong position equal to 2 or, or wrong position is greater than 4 I will return false means this cannot be sorted and if wrong position is equal to 3 it means we can sort it in one swaps or, or let's say wrong position is equal to 0 in that case I will return 2 okay all right now only one thing is left only one thing is left that is for 4 I have to check for 4 okay 1 is covered, 2 is covered, 0 is covered, 3 is covered. Now I have to only check for 4. Okay. So what I will do, I will be doing something like let's say a function is there. Swap once. Swap once and uh, I will be passing my n size and arr list. Okay. And similarly, I will be calling swap once twice because we have to exactly do two swaps. Okay. Now after this, let's suppose these two swaps are done and I have come here. I will be having, I will be checking again. I will be checking again and if still there is any element which is not at its correct position so i will simply return false so i is not equal to i plus one same thing which i am doing above so i will simply return false it means it cannot be sorted into swaps otherwise i will return to okay all right great so now just i have to write this swap once function the video is getting a bit long but i just wanted to explain every bit of it okay so public void swap once it will be having two things in size and another one is list of integer that is arr okay any name you can keep now what i will do i will be doing something like i equal to zero i is less than n i plus plus if arr dot get i not equal to i plus one it means it is not at its correct position so i will be getting i will try to get the correct position correct element for of i position of correct element of i okay so i will be again running different another loop j equal to i plus one j is less than size j plus plus something like this let me do size here as well something like this if i have got arr dot get j equal to i plus one means uh, i have to swap i and j because position of i element correct element of i is present at j it should be at i so it means j's element will be at can be at i as well okay so i will simply do collections dot swap arr comma i comma j okay and i will return i will return like one swap is done i will simply return so now in that case it will be n n time complexity it will not be n n square if i will not return it will be n square okay so i think it should get accepted let me compile it Meanwhile, if you have loved the solution, please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Okay, because I am 
making this video at 1 a.m. in the night. So please subscribe and let me check if it is getting passed. Yeah, it is getting passed all the test cases. So thank you guys for being there till the end. And uh, please subscribe the channel, like the video, comment down your feedbacks. And I'm going to see you again tomorrow. Till then, keep on coding and bye. And please subscribe the channel.